In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily start your very own 360 photo booth business step by step. I'm going to also give you some tips here and there throughout the video that's going to set you up for success. So watch until the end of the video. I don't want you to miss anything. And before I start, I just want to shout out Felicia from Virginia, David from Sweden and Scott from Texas. They all purchased their 360 photo booths and started their 360 photo booth business. And I just want to say a shout out to you guys. You guys made the step and I wish you nothing but good luck and success in your photo booth journey. But if you're new to my channel, my name is Andre and I currently own three photo booths. Two 360 photo booths and one selfie photo booth and I'll be helping you with your photo booth journey. Now, if that's of interest to you, I want you to go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment if you found this video helpful. All right. No, let's get into the video. Now, the first step in starting any business is to do your research. You're going to do some market research. You want as much information about the market in your area as possible because this is service based, it's local. So majority, if not all of your events are going to be in your area, in your city. So what I want you to do is to Google 360 photo booth near me, photo booths near me. I want you to go on all your competitors websites look at their websites look at what they're offering look at their pricing look at how they market their brand i want you to take all of this into consideration because not only are you acquiring valuable information but you're also going to see the things that they're not doing you're also going to see the things that they're missing out and you'll be able to fill that gap you want to separate yourself from the competitors you want to be unique you want to be different so look at what they're doing and see how you can do it different or even better this is only going to benefit you so make sure you don't skip this step look in your area look at the competitors and see what they're offering and it's not that we're worried about competitors because personally i'm not and you shouldn't be either and the reason why i say you shouldn't be worried about competitors is because when you go in the supermarket Market, there's like 15 16 different brands of water and you're thinking like how can you brand water so many times and that's because the market is so big and everybody has a network I know people that you don't know you know people that I don't know my market doesn't affect your market so that's why I'm able to give out all this information because it doesn't affect me and it's not gonna affect you so make sure you do your research on your competitors see what they're offering and see what you can offer to make your service even better step two is come on up with a name come on up with a logo my company is called 360 and beyond first of all you want 360 in the name it's going to be much easier for you when people are searching you up so you want i would suggest to put 360 in your name just be unique and creative like i know it can be hard sometimes but give you some time think about it all right and when you come up with a name that's like yo i like this you're going to create a logo now you can have a logo created for relatively cheap on fiverr uh, but before you do, consider the colors that you'll be using for your logo. You want something friendly and trustworthy. You want it to look simple but inviting. So consider those things and have your logo created. Now that you've done your market research and you have a nice name and a logo all put together, it's time for the fun part. It's time to get the equipment that you need to execute an event immaculately. Now, obviously, you're going to need a 360 photo booth. But wait! Let me just say something. My biggest mistake was buying an overpriced photo booth. My first photo booth that I purchased, I paid $5,000 for it. And this is me not getting any help, right? Not knowing how I'm going to get events, <laughs> right? Um, I paid $5,000. But when I think about it, now that I've been in the business so long, the 360 photo booth is just a tool to spin the camera around. That is it. It does not have to be ridiculously expensive. It doesn't, all right? No, I have a link down below that you can click, all right? It's such a good deal. I don't think you're gonna find this deal anywhere else because not only do you get a nice, high quality 360 photo booth, you get a red carpet, you get a money gun, you get a few props, you get strip lights for the photo booth and you get a ring light. It's such a nice package that I wish I got because honestly, I paid $5,000 for my photo booth and all I got was a platform and an arm. <laughs> That's it. I still had to buy the ring light separate, uh, the strip light separate to decorate it myself. I still had to buy all these things, the props, everything else, the red, I had to buy everything else separately. The deal below 
has everything included so it's such a good deal and I've also linked all the items that you'll need including like the standing lights um, the television the LED lights the ring light that I use and all of that so it's time to get your equipment and trust me you can get your 360 photo booth anywhere else it's fine with me I just wish somebody had given me a deal like this where I get the photo booth and all the accessories that come with it for the price that I am giving it away for. I did not get that and I wish I did. So, if you are ready, you can go ahead and click the link below and get your 360 photo booth and everything else that you need to do an event properly. Step four, it's time to choose the software that you'll be using. Now you have TouchPix, SnapPick, and Luma Booth, which I think are the more popular ones, but you have a few others as well, so you can do your research. Currently, I'm using TouchPix, uh, and I'm slowly transitioning to SnapPick. I, see, I think I said that in a previous video, but I haven't made the transition as yet, simply because I'm so comfortable with TouchPix. It's just what I know, and I know there's a slight learning curve with SnapPick, so I haven't fully dived into it, downloaded the app, I've had a consultation with one of their reps, so I, I have an idea of how it works, I just haven't made a step to say, all right, I'm all in. But TouchPix is the app that I use, and I have a tutorial on my channel on how to create events in TouchPix, so I'll leave the link below for that video as well so you can look at that. So I'm currently using TouchPix, but you can decide to use whichever one is better for you step five register your business um, I think it's so important to get an LLC because eventually you're going to want to establish business credit you're going to want the benefits of really running a business and the only way you can do that is if you register your LLC now I'm not sure how the process is in all states I know I know how it is in Florida but I definitely suggest you um, get your LLC, get your EIN number and a DUNS number if you can and let's create this generational wealth, yeah? And let's do it the right way. So register your business, start your LLC. So now that you've done the research, you have your name and your logo and you have your business set up and all the equipment you need to do an event, it's time to start marketing. And the first thing that you're going to need is a website. You need a way for customers to find you and book your services. Now they can either go on your website, see all your services and request a quote from you or they can just book your packages right off the bat. Personally for me, I just have my packages there with with preset prices um, of course there's other factors that's going to affect the, the the price but I have standard packages that customers can choose from you can either uh, choose to request a quote so you would put request a quote and they would send the information of the event how many hours they need where the event is what exactly they need from you and then you would send them a quote or you can just put your prices there and they can just book your packages right away as long as the date is available some people would probably debate me on this but i prefer having a package with set prices rather than to request a quote it just for me cuts down the amount of back and forth between me and the customer and i know right away if they are interested in the service or not because they already know the price we already got that out of the way now if they contacted me after they already know the price then it's highly likely that they would book if they're searching for services they're not just gonna message you they're going to contact a few companies and compare prices and stuff like that so if you are not one to be on top of it and, re and reply quickly and they requested a quote from you and then they see my price and they're like wow he already responded or i can just book right away they're more than likely going to book with me because you're going to take 24 48 hours to to respond but it can really work anyway because people would argue and say that i'm losing money because i i could be charging more which is probably true but this has been working for me so far so i just choose to have my my set packages there and if it's a case where i know for a fact because i do ask questions after they book and if I do know for a fact that it is going to be definitely more, I'll explain to the customer, hey, this is what it's going to be, so we can work it out then, and it would affect the price. So, you could put your set prices there, or you can do a request a quote. Make sure that your website is very attractive, make it so easy to contact you, 
or do anything on the website. You want it as user friendly as possible. Also, the best way to market your services and your brand is through social media. So go ahead and create an Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of that. And you want to put out the best possible content out there you want people to see your content and be like wow this looks so good so make sure you put out the best content make sure all your information is there and um just keep posting the name of the game is consistency you want to be as consistent as possible in how you post on your social media also you want to create a google my business page i can't stress this enough Create a Google My Business page and let your customers leave you reviews. You want to put out the best content on this page. This is like your Facebook profile for your business. Put out the best content, make sure all the information is correct and do your best with that page and try your best to get as much reviews on that page as possible. And that is how easy it is to start a 360 photo booth business. Now that you have all the steps and you have tips here and there throughout the video i hope you watch all of it you can go ahead and start your 360 photo book business what are you waiting on just give you all the steps